I cannot say enough good things about the book Ship Modeling Simplified by Frank Mastini. It's available at Amazon. On this part, uh, I would have called it climbing ladders is one of the things that we'll uh, cover. Also building the masts um, and then a lot of the rigging. So segment seven is on that topic and we'll begin now. The drawing on the screen on your left is of the masts and I put measurements on there. The one on the left is nine inches tall and that's after it's inserted into the hull on the ship. Uh, the back one is nine and a half inches and you can also see I've drawn on there where the sail supports would be. Now on the right hand side of the screen is the dimensions I used for the supports for the sails and I know those are not the proper terms. Like I said earlier, I'm still learning. So hopefully you can hit pause and create your own uh, sheet with those markings and with those measurements on them. The next step is to take each of the dowel rods that are used to support the sails, find the exact center, and then take the rat tail file and file a pocket or a groove right in the center so it can rest up against each of the masts. Then take a small amount of super glue and glue each one of those in the position that they belong on the mast. After it's dry, then take thread and loop it around kind of in a figure eight pattern to further secure it on there and then just a touch of super glue on the thread to hold it in place. You can also knot it with a square knot or because the ship wasn't really designed to have these climbing rope climbing ladders, I had to make this uh, crow's nest, and I just used a part out of the the uh, card with all the parts on it. It was just an extra square that was there that I could cut out. I drilled very small holes, and I put a few extra holes that I may or may not use in the future. But let's talk about how to tie off these rig rigging lines. Step one is take the thread and go behind the first cable. Pull it out towards you and tie a simple square knot. Just one time. You don't have to do it twice. You'll glue this into place later. But you will want to cinch it up pretty tight. So pull it, uh, even with your fingers, pull it pretty snug. Now you will go in front of the second line. Go behind it and then reach underneath the thread and pull it out towards you. Now it's taken me a second to grab a hold of it, but see how I'm going underneath that thread and it makes like a an inverted S. Now you're gonna go back behind it again, then go inside the loop you just created and pull it out through the inside of that loop and it makes another loop. Now you can cinch those up. Notice how I put the tweezers in between it and kind of cinch it. This just takes a little practice and the thread I'm using is a little too stiff. You'll be better off with 100% cotton thread. Anyway, play with that a little bit. So again, you're, now you're going to go in front and push it. This is the third strand from the left. Go in behind, hold the thread. Now come back out and go under the thread between the second and third, pull it out. There's your backwards S. Now you're going to go again back behind it. You're going to grab it and there's a loop there. Go inside the loop, reach through and pull that back out. So that gives you your three uh, knots. And there's a specific name of this. I'll get it for you in just a second. It's a clove hitch. So this is called a clove hitch knot. Again, this is the last strand. You go around behind, bring it underneath. It gives you your backwards S, I guess I could call it. Now you're going to go back behind again, reach through that loop, and pull that string out to you and cinch that up tight. Some people do another square knot here, but I've had plenty of success with this style. Now you're going to do this all the way up. It does take time. I do maybe 10 or so and then I take a break. And I may leave it for a day or two and then I'll take another break. So here you are, you're going around the outside of the far left one, make that little square knot, 
pull it tight. Now again, you're, this time you're going to go around the front. The first one you go behind the string. The rest of them you go at the front of the string. Pull it back underneath the string. Thread, I guess I should say. There's your backwards S. Back behind. Reach through the loop. Pull it back out towards you. And now tighten that up. It just takes practice. The more you do it, the faster you get. And uh, I've gotten pretty good at it now. This was one of the early stages of me learning how to do these clove hitches. I'll go ahead and uh, leave on the screen finishing this last set just so you can see the, the route that you take on each one. So after you do, oh, maybe five, a uh, maximum of ten rows, you'll need to put a little of the tacky glue behind each knot. You don't have to necessarily do it on the center two, but the two outside ones for sure. Just a little tacky glue. And then before that sets, you'll need to line them up. So that's what I'm doing here. I kind of touch on both sides just to smooth out the glue so there's not a glob. Straighten them up and then come back oh at some point after they're dry and just clip off that end thread be careful don't cut off the knot don't get that close but you can go right up to the edge of the knot and just clip those all off so you have a nice clean edge on those rat lines the ship you see on the screen now is probably one that I did the most string work on um, so I'll cover next where to run the additional lines and some ideas for sales different materials that I've used and that can be very economical also you can buy a quarter yard of material at Walmart for less than a dollar and it'll more than do one chip just a note the photograph you're seeing now if you look at the far right side on the deck of the ship just past the little building to the right there's a treasure chest full of gold coins. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but I will also show you how to make those because I made that entirely myself. So that'll be one of the last episodes in this series. Thanks for watching.